Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Cauldron, the hottest venue in the city for live music and the place where stars are made. There's one star that embodies the spirit of the Cauldron, and that's the act you're about to see tonight. She has the moon. There are people waiting at the bar. Oh, okay, uh, one second. Um, uh, uh, the final performance of Penny Virtue. Something to depend on The stage is empty without someone like her One final show, a night to remember I hear she's going on tour for a year I hear she signed a sweet record deal, yeah I think I heard she's going to Reno Take her place upon the throne. Will this be a fairy tale? Do you see this ending well? Will there be another one to take her place upon the throne? Everything is tale? gonna have to change. Well? I'm not ready to take this bird away. I never thought we'd leave this behind. You only get this once in a lifetime. Your hands together one last time. Show must have 
does the sun go home when the boot has stopped? Does it linger through the dark? Or do we lose it all when the curtains fall? Does it vanish like a dream? We don't know this is the end. I was going to say the end of her run here at the cauldron. But still, what are you going to do about tomorrow? I told you, it's not the end. I'm talking about the show, man. Look, I'm sorry about what happened to your wife. It shouldn't happen to people like her, but if anyone can get through this, she can. But you still got a business to run, and we're going to need a headliner. I don't want to think about it right now. I know. I know that. Look, why don't you let me look for somebody? I, I know it's been ages since you've actually scouted for someone. I can Just go out Just bring and... in one of the background singers. They can fill in. They're all dying for their shot. Come on, man. You know none of them measure up to Penny. From, uh, from what I remember, they measure up pretty nice from your point of view. I'm about the music now. What I have to do to reassure you? Change it up. Bring me a guy. There's got to be some men who can sing out there. Whatever you want. I mean, you got the best club. This is the place where stars are made. I'll get the best I can get. I'm exhausted. How was I? Amazing, as always. <laughs> <coughs> wow, Penny, that was an amazing show. I'm in awe. I've been coming here every Saturday night for the last five years just to hear you sing. What's your name? Tiffany. Thank you so much, Tiffany. How are they going to replace the irreplaceable? Oh, I'm sure my husband's got his eye on some new thing. <laughs> well, good luck on whatever. Good luck on whatever you choose to do next. That was a brilliant performance. This place is going to miss you. Give any thought to what we talked about? What's that? She says I should get rid of live acts. She's got a cousin who's a DJ. Not get rid of, a different kind of live act. You know, DJing's an art, believe me. You always get the music people want. Are you saying we don't give people the music they want? That's not what I meant. So what, we end our live shows? This is where singers get their start. Look, this place was a great venue to showcase new talent and a stepping stone for bigger things. But everything's changed. Now he needs a good camera, a good video, and boom. You put yourself on YouTube, if you're any good, you get a million views. It's never too late. I got a great video here. That's not what it's for. A video is an intimate. It My is performance intimate. Is... You record your video in your home with your grandma and grandpa's picture on the back wall. You're an everyday person just like them, so they root for you. You're in their home and they're in your home. No. We do live music, and as long as I'm around, we're doing live music. All right. Hard to argue with the great penny virtue, but look, here's my cousin's <coughs> card just in case. I think you're going to like the video. Hey, get my drone tape. So you need to find someone. I don't even feel like looking. I don't know if you're just trying to make me feel better, but really, I'm okay. For you, there's a tomorrow. You're just irreplaceable. Oh, come on, Nate. You've been in this long enough to know that ain't true. Probably don't even have to look that hard. How about you do this for us? Well... Find someone new. I don't care. Hmm. Looking for someone? <laughs> What treasure can we uncover? Who could we discover? Hmm, will someone be looking for me? John? Yeah? Bar. But you don't make the decisions. Bar. He does. <laughs> Hey, 
Micah. Hey, bug. Can you take that thing down already? They're family. Any other requests? Can I get a table? Sure. Pull up a chair. <sighs> so, where have you been hiding? Haven't seen you in a while. <clears throat> you know, here and there. We missed you at the family reunion. I was busy. <coughs> hey, can I get some rice? <clears throat> Mom would have liked to have seen you. She's getting older, you know. You should at least go visit her. Look, flights aren't cheap. I'm sure she'd understand. Look, I'm really into music, okay? I'm doing what I love, and you told me that you had a stunning singer here, so here I am. And it looks like I'm the only one that is here. Where is he? He's a she. I told you that Luther wants a he. When you see the she who's about to perform, you'll see that she's the one you need to sing. To sing? To sing. Ayla's about to perform. Sister said you were special, but my God. Thank you. Now, what are you doing here? You should be performing in front of crowds. No, 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 no. She's been told all this before, all by these guys who give her a fancy business card, but all they really want is something else. But, no, it's, it's not like that at all. I'm, I'm the manager of the cauldron. You've heard of it? Uh, of course. We're looking for a new act. Okay. You interested? Yeah. She were. We've got a few rules. <laughs> we? Yes, I'm her sister, Chloe. Someone's got to look after her best interests. I can look after myself. What What rules do you have? Rule number one, Ayla gets to sing whatever she wants. Well, we primarily do jazz, blues, and soul, and generally new acts do covers, so. Whatever she wants. I think Luther might go with that. It should be fine. <laughs> Rule number two, no covers. Yeah, I kind of, um, write my own music. She writes her own music? Right. No sense copying what somebody else says. Exactly. <laughs> you should be fine as long as whatever you write is as good as what you just played. Oh, I've got good stuff. All right. Come to an audition tomorrow and bring a songbook. Will you be there? Yes. Yes! <laughs> I've got order number two. Order number two. Be careful. Oh, come on, Chloe, I'm not stupid. This is just a stepping stone to something better. 
when you rely on someone like that for your success, bad things can happen. Just remember, you owe him nothing except your music. Background singer number four, you're up. It's Chelsea, Mr. Virtue. Something up, I 
you hooking up with some girl. This is my business. The cauldron does not exist to enhance your love life. It's about the music, man. I, I promise. Why is everyone so quick to forget? They all want to move on as if nothing happened. Maybe I don't want to do this anymore. Maybe this is the final act for me too Music is no escape When every song will remind me of her I hear her voice Charlie, let's have a drink. Come on, Luther, you don't drink. I need a space to think. Scare you too? What's that? Silence. <coughs> so you're the new bright and shiny star. This, this right is here. my sister Ayla. She's a musician, a damn good one. Uh, I'm sure Nate has gone over the terms of our agreement. Lady, I haven't it's even Chloe. decided if I want her. This introduction's got a real dissonance I'm not liking. Let's get on with it. What's this? It's her songbook. Volume one, anyway. Originals? Of course. Uh, new acts do covers. I see. Uh, hold on. We can work out the details later. Just show this man you can sing so I don't look like a fool, okay? Uh -huh. Just sing.
<laughs> Sorry about that. The mood's been kind of down around here lately. Uh, maybe we should wait until after. Until after what? You know, after the mood changes. Oh, I, I mean, I can change the mood if we need to. I'm saying maybe we should wait until things resolve themselves. I mean, it shouldn't take too long, should it? When should we find out? Hopefully tonight. You'll need to come back, introduce yourself to everybody, let them get to know you, see if they like you, that kind of thing. But, Mr. Nate, surely you think maybe we should wait? Wait for what? For the wife to die! Wow! <laughs> she really just went there. <laughs> No, I, uh, you know what they say. The show must go on. Exactly. So, I'll see you tonight? Yes. Yes. I'm sorry, employees and applicants backstage only, it's policy for the privacy of our performers. You understand. <laughs> this isn't going to work. You can watch our weeknight act, The Guilty Pleasures. She's going to be just fine. Yeah, she better be. <laughs> We still have a lot left to do. I never got to say a meaningful I'm sorry. That's so far behind us. You know, the hardest part of living isn't holding on. It's letting go. <clears throat> so, uh... Backstage is where a lot of the action occurs. Right through here. Uh, you've already met Charlie, our pianist. You can bust out any blues you want. You don't have to do just the blues. Oh, good, because <laughs> I actually wanted to branch out a little bit. I have a couple of songs to show you, if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah sure. Great. Great, awesome. And uh, these are the guilty pleasures. Hi. Mm. Hello. <laughs> Thanks, girls. So, could you tell if they liked me? I like you. I mean, I um, I uh, I like the way your voice uh, sort of um, you know, takes off, gliding into flight. I like the way you make me feel at home. I like the way you tilt your head, like that. I like the way things are turning out. You want to work here? Uh, yes. You're hired tomorrow night. Be ready. Oh, I just, I have to go check with... Your sister? No, with my other job. You have another job? I'm a musician, of course I have another job. <laughs> Fair enough. So what do you do? I'm a superhero. Really? I keep the world safe from terrorists. Really? Hey, right, so what's your superpower? X-ray vision. I can see right through you. <laughs> no, I'm a TSA agent. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not for too much longer. Hopefully. Because, my fellow Americans, terrorism's <laughs> over. Thanks to me, your president. John. You want an internship, John. darling? John. <laughs> John. Down. Down. I, um, I gotta close up, but right? feel free to hang out, look around. Introduce yourself to some of the guests. Hi, I'm Ayla. I am the new Saturday Night Act. Oh, really? Yeah, but I don't think anybody could really replace you, though. But you are. I just have a few more oh. things, then we can get home. Uh, I see you met Ayla. I have. 
You should listen to anything Penny has to say. Whatever you think you know, you've got a lot to learn. Like Luther said, I will take absolutely any guidance you have for me. I've been singing a long time, but never to big audiences like you have here. There are actually going to be people here. <laughs> yeah. What do I do? How do I act? I've never really thought about stage presence before. I always just kind of do it, even though I love to sing. I know I, know I love to sing, not that I don't love to sing. I just I'm Singing is the one thing I know for sure I'm really, really good at. <laughs> well, that is certainly a start. You're confident in your abilities, and you're comfortable behind a mic, and the rest, and this is very important, so I want you to listen very closely. None of the other stuff matters. What? I'm serious. What you wear, how you move on stage, what color your hair is, none of that stuff matters. As long as you go out there and sing your heart out, you'll be fine. Really? Really. First off, you need to relieve yourself of the notion that this audience is here to see you. That may come later, but you're new, and they don't know you yet. People come here for lots of reasons, to drink, to flirt, to be entertained, and that's where you come in. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Funny how someone with experience actually knows what they're talking about. Oh, no, I didn't. I'm just messing with you kids. Seriously. <laughs> Seriously, it's okay. <laughs> I've heard you sing, and your music is good. And I like that you didn't let them make you do covers. Not that there's anything wrong with covers. I would love to hear you do some Etta James or some Otis Redding. But the point is, you knew what you wanted and you were firm about it. Yeah, you know, my sister actually has a lot to do with that. Mm -hmm. As overbearing as she may be, she never lets me settle for anything less than... Being completely and totally you? Yeah. <laughs> this is your voice, this is your song, and this is your stage. This is you. Either you're someone people like or you're not. But they'll see right through you if you fake it. And right now, what do you see in me? in my presence. You're strong, in an ironic sort of way. <laughs> Where is she? She should be here by now. Just one second. This evening. Her name is Ayla. This is her song.
Are you ready? Let's go.
hold up your hands. Well, it's all thanks to you for letting me do what I do. You have no idea how much it means to me. I kind of want to do a song in chorus. What do you mean? I don't know, play a G minor.
Specific? No, no one specific. Because I saw you looking out in my direction, and this is how you feel. Oh God, no, no, I, I, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't want you to think like, with your wife and everything. I just, it's just a silly love song. But you said it wasn't a silly. Love yeah, song. but that was in the song itself. Whenever I said it was a silly love song, I was just being silly. I'm not dumb enough to let love get in the way of my music. Hey, they loved you out there. This is a blues club. You either play blues or soul. I'm giving you a lot of leeway writing your own songs. No more happy, silly love songs or any love songs. I want blues that eat you from the inside. What's his problem? He's, uh, he's only known the blues. A-la, 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 A-la. Sounds like they want an encore. I don't get it. They like my songs. They love your songs. And you? Is that a yes? Yeah. Hey, you better get on out there. And do what? I'd do the blues if I were you. Make somebody happy. I'll be sad. 
someone. You're someone. I'm anyone. But I think you're right. I've got to try it. You know it. I could blow it. I gotta get out of here. Hey, buddy, can I get a beer? something stronger. Luther, you don't need anything stronger. I do too need something stronger. You know Nate's story, right? <coughs> his wife, his affair with background singer number four, Chelsea. How his wife left him took the kid, so that wasn't really a secret. You know there's something going on between him and Ayla backstage. So is that a secret? Something they're keeping from me? I think it's time Ayla finds out what's really happening around here. You see my sis? My bet is he's backstage hooking up with Nate. Oh, I told her! There's something about Nate you should know. Pull back the curtains if you want to know the truth. Everybody has their secrets. This is his. This was his plan all along. Hey! <clears throat> we were just uh, rehearsing. That's exactly what I was afraid of. I told you he had an angle. They always do. Did you ever stop to think that maybe I had an angle? <laughs> oh, so it was all your idea to seduce this nice, innocent young man? Maybe it was. <laughs> then by all means, excuse me. I didn't mean to intervene. You know, why does love always have to be manipulation with you? <laughs> why can't two people just be attracted to each other without some kind of presumption of perverse mind games? That, that sounds like a good song, you know, the presumption of reverse mind games, no? Love should be about mutual attraction and openness. Exactly. And he knows all about the guys. <laughs> yes, we have had a long good laugh about all the creeps I've managed to date. I just keep getting better at finding out what I don't like. And this is the one? Maybe. It's not so bad. You think you know him? I bet you haven't even had a conversation with the people who know him the best. Ever talk to background singer number four? I'm pretty sure she knows him as intimately as you can imagine. You always assume the worst. <laughs> I couldn't even assume that bad. Did he tell you about himself? That he's done this before? That his screwing around with singers cost him his marriage? Cost him his daughter? Let's go. You can't hide it forever. What are you talking about? Ask him. How could I do? How could you do? 
She's not coming. What are we doing here then? Is there anywhere else to go? I don't know. It's kind of awkward that guy's just staring at us. Should we leave? Hang on. Let me text someone. I heard you said an open mic and I Hang on. I think I'm getting to touch. I hear she's a biker? Who's Micah? We go to Micah's? Micah's name's sister. Micah's name's sister. Where did you hear that? Who just texted you? I just heard.
Are you trying to hit on me? Oh, right now? What? No, 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 no. I don't know. I just. I don't want to be screwed over by jerks anymore. No, I don't want to have my heart broken. But. But what do you want? You know, Chloe used to always ask me that as if the answer was some kind of career choice, but I just, I think I just want to be happy. Well, what does your sister want? <laughs> For me to be miserable. <laughs> really? Is that his family? That's his kid in the middle. Uh, his ex next to him, and he's not a bad person. Well, one's a cheater. spilling his secret, but I guess he should have told you himself. Such a bitter old man. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. Here's my card. Allison. Allison Banks. I've been following you ever since you were at the Cauldron. I hope you don't mind, but I FaceTimed some of your performances back to L.A. They love you. I'm, I'm sorry. Who's they? The label. They want to make you into a star. Isn't that what you want? He got, 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 he
leaving so you could come and stop me? Even superheroes need help sometimes. I'm not going back. Why, Nate? It's where you belong. I can't. It, they're done with live music. The guilty pleasures are gone, and, and so is back. So is Chelsea. I, I've ruined their dreams, and I've ruined mine. No, so. he hired all of them back. Then I definitely can't go back. Not while Chelsea is there. I can't escape it. She just... She just reminds me of how much I fucked up. She, she reminds me of... How you can do better. Of how many lives I screwed up. Okay? I, I hurt her. I hurt my wife. I hurt my daughter. I hurt you. Hey. I'm a musician, right? Pain is my angel. <laughs> what are you even doing here? Shouldn't you be quitting your job and getting on a plane to L.A.? I think we both missed our flights out of here. Come on. Let's go get coffee or something. Maybe we can catch a live act. I got the icy heart and I pulled my pinky muscle. What? Playing the piano? <laughs> no, a pinky promise, and you know, she just had small pinkies. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Big hands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got anything, maybe? You know, not my pinky, I got pinkies. nothing. Man. No. Charlie. You'll be fine. <laughs> Charlie. I know. You know, I guess I'm fucking Hey. Hey. You here for Luther's party? Oh, party. Yeah, it's birthday. No, I. Hey, sis. I just, I feel like I owe you. <laughs> You don't owe me anything. I actually get it now. I'm actually happy. Happy for you. Happy for myself. I'm glad you came. And though it will be hard to be apart from you, <laughs> LA is a great place to visit any time of the year. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I'm not going to LA anymore. I'm staying here. Oh, I know. I'm going. John got a call back for an audition. He's wanting to leave this place. He's going to be a movie star. I just know it. <laughs> John at the bar? I thought he was just like a friend of yours. <laughs> Who got us our <coughs> drinks for free. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, like I said, this life behind the bar is just killing him. Hollywood is where he needs to be. He's so quick with his jokes. <laughs> so that's it. You're just... <laughs> 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 You're gonna be just fine, and so am I. We'll always be there for each other, right? <clears throat> hey! hey! One, two, three. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday wait, wait, to wait, you! Can we take it up three steps? I sing better in G. Uh. Happy birthday, dear Luca! Happy birthday to you! 
I possibly wish for. <laughs> Smile. 